Okay, welcome back to S4G. It is what it is, opinion show. Prison Stories Part 2. All right, and again, like I said, this is not to glorify prison, but to hopefully remind you not to go back if you've been there and inspire you not to go if you've never been there. All right. Um, so continuing, I want to let y'all know about the experience that I had, okay? And other than that, when it came to working, you know, instead of sitting around getting in the crap, you know what I mean? Sitting around a bunch of noodles every day. You know what I mean? There's brothers in there that, you know, school you stuff like that or, you know what I mean? Other than the main thing you're really supposed to be doing is getting into that law library. But other than that, uh, I worked. And you only get paid like 15 cents a day, but at least you're keeping yourself occupied. You know what I mean? My main jobs would be the loading dock, because then you can get cigarettes and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Make you some extra money. You know what I mean? Um, it's basically from cigarette buds and stuff like that. People from in jail, I mean, been in jail, know what I'm talking about. Um, other than that, uh, the kitchen. You got access to the food. And you can come back, sell some food, make more money. You know what I mean? Keep yourself good in there, man. Even though I was blessed. I was blessed to have commissary coming through like that. I thank God for the love. And everybody that any everybody anybody that ever supported me in jail. You know what I mean? Um, all the way down to my mom used to come visit me. Shout out to my mom, man. Oh, and my dad even sent me money. Shout out to my dad. I was locked up. Uh but other than that, I seen some stuff, man, like 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 it was one time they had to shut the jail down because some boy got stabbed in his head in Jumar. Like, it goes down. We know this because it's prison. You know what I mean? And I'm going to get into a lot of vicious things that went down, but I want to break this down to y'all experience that I had that was deep. Um, I will always get a celly. I will always get a celly. You know, that's what we call the other prisoner. You have the prison mate that you had to share cell with. I will always get a celly that would be Muslim. Right? All my homies from riders or just homies period or whatever. You know what I mean? All my homies. All my life. You know what I mean? Shout out to my Christian brothers. But it is what it is, man. I always roll with a lot of Muslims, like, and we show we love, we we love we love each other and show each other just as much love, even though we got different beliefs. And at the end of the day, I gotta say this: I'm not putting no shade on my brothers that believe that's believers, but it is what it is. In prison, a lot of times where if it even seemed like it was gonna go down, but I got into an argument over look like it was gonna go down. Guess who would come step up? What's up? What's up? You good? It be Muslims. What's up? Salam alaikum. That's my man. What's going on? Every time. And don't get me wrong. Be Christian brothers that come up. You know, we, we, we just waiting for it to go down. You know what I mean? But I'm just keeping it funky. You know? Um. So at the end of the day. What's up? So, the end of the day, um, like I said, I would get a prison, I would get a celly that was Muslim, right? And this is my first time being in there like that. I mean, after being settled in, and I'm, I got time in like that, and I'll be reading the word or whatever. And it's a particular, it's a particular celly that I had, the first one that I had this experience with, where he would see me reading the Bible. He'll read his Quran. Next minute we going, you know, eventually start talking about stuff and it will end up getting to the word. So next minute, all I know is we get on the topic of Jesus and stuff like that. After going back and forth, you know, it starts to seem like arguing. And this when the cell, when we supposed to be locked, and when we locked down, we got all night to do this. And it gets to the point where I'll be on some, you know what? You got some facts you speaking, I got some facts I'm speaking. 
is what it is. And I know that the truth is in everything. Because in order for anything to be a lie, it has to have foundation. So it got to have some truth in there. Well, my thing is this. At the end of the day, this is how I ended it. I said, just read the Bible. or just I'm going to just give you some scriptures to check out. Just check it out. You know what I mean? It's up to you to read. I'm going to leave the Bible open. Make a long story short, days will go by, time will go by, whatever, whatever. One time I was coming from the shower from washing up, come from the shower, come back into the cell, he reading the Bible. I said, okay. But I ain't say nothing to him. I just, you know, I just say to myself, that's what's up. All I know is, this bull is fighting crazy, a crazy case. Crazy case. Ain't no way that bull should have been. Like, he, I mean, he was trying to get his bell situated. situated. They didn't even want to give him a bell. You know what I mean? They didn't even want to give him a bell, for real, for real. But he ended up getting a bell, and his bell was crazy. You know what I mean? He needed a bell reduction. Make a long story short, after he kept reading the word on his own, and he seen I wasn't making him feel no type of way or putting it out there. Oh, you reading it now and none of that? Next minute, he started to pray with me. He, he accepted praying with me. And I'm like, I ain't forcing nothing on you. The Holy Spirit do the rest. I prayed over his case, everything. We stood in faith. You know what I mean? He accepted it. He was like, you know. He just, you know, he, after I said, in Jesus' name, we pray, amen. He said, man, he was like, I felt that. Make a long story short, whether y'all believe it or not, what, less than two days later, yo, yo, he waking me up in the cell, what's up, what's up, dog, I'm thinking it's going there, what's up, we got to rip, we got to get some, get at somebody, what's up, something missing in the cell, he come in talking about some, yo, I'm free, I'm like, what's, come on, man. So I'm playing, man. All these other inmates start coming in. Yo, let me get your uh, underwear. Let me get your socks. Let me get any extra stuff that you got. Like clean, you know, brand new underwear packs or whatever from your conversary. I'm like, yo, you really go home? Yeah, man. My, you know what I mean? My bell got reduced. All that stuff. Like, I'm I'm going home. Like, like I mean, I, I'm able to go home and everything. He's like, it's Jesus, man. I was like, yo, man. I said, glory be to God. He was like, yo, you's an angel, man. You's an angel from God. I was like, yo, I'm not no angel, man. I'm just like you. I'm human just like you. He said, no, I'm telling you, you're an angel from God. I said, man, listen, God bless you, man. Get out there, do your best to, you know what I mean, stay on, on path. I walked him to the, the gate and everything, like as far as the, where they letting him out, as far as I can walk him. And he kept saying, yo, you're an angel from God. You're an angel from God. I'm like, I'm not an angel, man. I'm not an angel from God, man. I'm just like you. I'm human. There's angels, but then there's humans, man. So then, I was like, God bless you. I'm just a vessel for the Lord. He leaves out. I turn around. Everybody looking at me. From Muslims to Christians, everybody looking at me like, why is this boy called, why did he call you an angel? That happened. Next minute, get another celly. And you know what he was, right? Muslim. You know what I mean? And I love it. I love it. Because like I said, all my life I roll with Muslims, man. It's like that. They used to tell me, yo, man, your name Muslim? Rosh you know what I mean? Yeah, my actual government, Rashan. You know what I mean? Said your name Muslim and all that. You should be Muslim. I used to tell them, I ain't coming to Muslim. Not, I'm not leaving out Muslim. Because some Muslims come in here just for protection. Man, you know how many Muslims to look at me like, oh, this bull. But the real one saluted it. You right about that, Ock. <laughs> so with that being said, Another one comes in. So while we sitting there, I'm already like, all right, I see what's going on now. I done found I done found myself on that note. I see what's going on. You know what I mean? It's, it's very obvious. You know what I mean? What's going on? What I'm here for. So in that process, I'm sitting there, whatever, whatever. 